Shalom, welcome to the Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Delmar, together with my co-host Mark Ronich, and we have a very special guest with us, Marty Stein, who is a judge at the Kosher Fest, and he's going to judge all these kind of foods for us. We have two other guests with us, my grandson Menachem Simon and J.J. Heck, that they're going to be our official testers. If it's good food, we'll uh, have them test it and, out. And J.J. came all the way from Kingston, and uh, Menachem came all the way from Dayton, Ohio, to be with us today. There you go. I so, they're real guest stars. They're really ge real guests. They came a long way, and Marty came from Colony. Menans. <laughs> <laughs> Menans, excuse me. Manans. <laughs> a little further. Okay. What do we have today, Mark? A lot of dairy. All right, there so you go. So hopefully no one is uh, lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to um, let everyone know that, you know, they had this uh, event, this uh, food trade, kosher food trade show uh, in November called Kosher Fest 2016. And it's been going on for Where decades. Is it? 28 it's years. 28 this years. This is 28th year. And they've ha it's Where in is? the Meadowlands, Meadowlands in New Jersey, Secaucus, really New Jersey. It's huge. And they had 90 new exhibitors this year. And it was packed. And they had people from all around the world come to the Kosher Fest to display their products. And, and uh, hopefully, you know, in, it was a business-to-business, -business, B2B trade show. So it wasn't like consumers coming there, but it was people who were going to buy uh, their, who were going to put in big orders, like supermarkets come there to put in their big orders for Passover and year-round. So they get to meet with the distributors. Very good that um, their kosher is growing. I mean, it's not a diminishing market on the country. It's, it's growing. What do you say, Marty? And it's also, <coughs> for people that are not kosher, uh, Jewish people, all, all nationalities, they, it's a very good, healthy uh, trend. Uh, it's certified, so it has more people observing the product and, and making sure that is pure. So you have a double certification, like USDA and then a kosher symbol. Oh, and gluten-free and all these other symbols organic. that organic. I mean, there's more, more labels, uh, symbols on the, uh, on the labels than they have to make bigger labels for all these <laughs> symbols is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now I wanted to... Uh, to let you know to go over some of the products we have here and this is from a company called dips and mr dips d-i-p-z is this a new uh, new uh, company it's relatively new it's relatively new and they were very generous they did send a lot of the products uh, the assortment of products and did they win uh, best i'm not sure oh. i'm not sure so this was um, heavenly eggplant that they have they also have a product called sweet onion uh, these are all, you know, you could have a, a cracker and just, you know, dip it in and mustard and seed onion. Uh, very good, very tasty products. Greek olive dip and olive uh, tapen, tapenade. In Kosher Fest, you were allowed to taste uh, most they, of these. They want you to taste, not take. Yeah. <laughs> but so, you did both. But I did both, of course. <laughs> you know, it's me. <laughs> this is sweet onion and eggplant. So, you know, they do a lot of things with eggplant, obviously. Sweet and spicy onion is also a... Um, so you have the, the sweet onion, the sweet and spicy onion. You have the sweet onion and eggplant and the heavenly eggplant. And you got the mustard and sweet onion, the Greek olive dip and olive tapenade. Well, you really have so any kind of taste sensation that anybody would want. You like olives, eggplants, um, onions, you know, this is it for you, you know, this is great. Good for so entertaining. It really is good for entertaining. It's a wide assortment. And, um, it's, and it's the tasty too. I mean, it's, you know, you, gotta, you just can't put something out and then have your uh, guests say, oh, it's dry, or oh, this didn't go with this cracker, or this wasn't good. I mean, you know, th this really does... Uh, well, again, I'm like that, the rabbi always start <coughs> promoting kosher. And like you say, people aren't going, people want a good taste, mm -hmm. they want a good food, and they want an assortment of kind of things. And right. it just serves me pride because uh, Listen, people, anybody who wants to keep kosher can say, well, what am I going to eat? Nothing good over there. And listen, anything you want that you're going to be able to get in a kosher way. Mm -hmm. So we also have cheeses, uh, which came my way uh, from, um, uh, this is a variety pack uh, from Le Petit Fermier. It's a French company. And um, I didn't take French in school, I took <laughs> Spanish. But uh, it's from, 
It's packaged. It's from Anderson and Anderson Foods, and they're, they're tell us about Anderson Foods, Marty. You know about them. It's right? a, one of the major <coughs> players in the kosher cheese industry, and they have a lot of variety. And uh, what I like about it is the packaging. Mm -hmm. This is a awesome. It's got four different kinds of cheese. It's a party pack. You can serve it right at your party or at your meal, and you take take the one that you want. Mm -hmm. I think it won one time to, to, to kosher possibly, fast. Possibly, possibly, yes. <laughs> Brand new package. Yeah. There we go. I mean, so, that's it. You can get all kinds of different assortments of and cheese. And it's delicious. You could see him. I know just, you can see him. I love it. I just love it. You see so. how Mark is eating it. You know that's going to be good over there. Oh, I'm not grimacing either. No. Now, show us some other cheeses. Some other cheeses are these samples that from uh, Brigitte, it's uh, goat cheese. A lot of people are doing a lot with goat cheese. Uh, and you goat cheese is very popular. Why is that then? It's, it's a different a kind trend. of taste. It's a new trend. It's a new trend. People and with lactose intolerant can eat goat, can't they? I don't know. Really? I don't, I don't know, know about someone that. Someone told I'm me not that. Sure. I'm not on that. You're not in the goat uh, expertise business? No, no goat expertise. <laughs> okay. So now you have these uh, smaller uh, items, you know, but I want to show the variety that we have here of the uh, of these cheeses. That you can see the different flavors, maple pecan, jalapeno, Mediterranean spice. Here's a truffle. Oh, truffles are uh, mushroom. They're... They're very expensive. They have a very uh, special way of of uh, harvesting the mushrooms and so to make them truffles. So it says sincerely, Bridget. Do you know? Uh, that's the same company. That's, that's Anderson, Anderson Foods, Anderson right? Is. So this is uh, crumpled, crumpled goat cheese. cheese. This is uh, crumpled up. But I got to tell you, this one here. If we can get a close up of these cheeses here, we also have this raspberry chocolate. Now, if you like, if you like cheese, you like raspberry chocolate. This is for you. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to try oh, some. Oh, there you go. Now we know. Well, got so? the expert. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm in heaven now. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can go on. <laughs> um, we'll take over. <laughs> Well, they're not Chal of Yisrael. You want to explain why, of, why it's important? Right, it's very interesting that our boys here that we introduced uh, are from the Chabad, and Hasidim usually have Chal of Yisrael, which means a milk that's um, milk from the outset, meaning a long time ago, you didn't have the major corporations and uh, farms that you have today with 1,000 cows. You had a hick farmer, and you're talking about Europe and the Middle East, and he brought his can of milk that he just milked his cow, hopefully it was cow milk, but sometimes to make a little extra money, he put a little pig milk, you know, to make a little few extra rubles or whatever they were making there in Europe. In any case, the rabbis made a decree, you talk thousands of years ago, that uh, some rabbi has to supervise to be sure it's kosher milk, meaning a cow is kosher, so a cow's milk is kosher, a pig is not kosher, pig's milk is not kosher. So, um, that's why we hold to a higher standard, and we will do have some cheeses that are that level. On the other hand, I mean, people, to be reasonable, people understand that the milk that you're coming from your supermarket is not going to be pig's milk. So some other rabbis say, listen, we know it's not pig's milk, so it's good enough that we just check that you're using cows. We don't have to be there constantly and all the time once in a while, and that's why the cheeses that Mark are eating, surely it's kosher, they were kosher fast, but they're not at this highest standard. And they call, that's called chal of stam when it's not in, up to that highest standard. Correct. Right, but it's still up to a high standard. Yeah, surely it's kosher. Right, okay. Now, what Anderson uh, Foods also did was they put together this uh, holiday party tray, and the... Uh, and you can see in the, in the party tray, there's uh, crackers, and there's four different types of cheeses, you know, regular crackers that you would see. You know, they're not, probably not Ritz crackers, but, you know, they, they're enough. just like Ritz. And they have uh, four different types of cheeses, chipotle, uh, garlic basil, tomato olive, 
and orange ginger. Now, just so people you can see this uh, in more, you know, I got a, I got a uh, bigger uh, size here, and you can actually see what the cheese looks like. And this is the, the um, chipotle. Garlic. So here we have also uh, jalapeno cilantro. And let's see, I'll use these as the mm. improvise here. <laughs> and then we have this uh, parsley chives, which is one of my favorites also. And then we have this tarragon garlic. So, you know, you got your variety. I mean, it's not boring kosher food. Kosher cheeses are not boring anymore. It's not just like uh, only one type or two types. You know, you got a wide well, variety. It's a step up from the uh, sliced Swiss, sliced Munster, right. that, that were the traditional cheeses, and it's, it's really good. There is, mm. uh, what I'm showing you, is this special Chav Yisrael mozzarella. It's not as flamboyant as uh, your other cheeses, but you can get very special Chav Yisrael cheeses. Obviously, we can't show every single product that Kosher Fest was showing. And of course, as we said, we have a taste testers here, so I'm going to... We can open up a little bit of a... Yeah, you want these crackers or... I don't know if I'll take these. Okay. Do you want yeah, some rice beans? Or you open them up. Menachem knows how to... He knows how to eat. Okay. Especially attack. if it's sweeter. It's how to attack healthy that. Over yeah. Okay. And I'll just cut up a little bit of cheeses here. It's pre-sliced. So that's very interesting. All right. Do you want to put, take a... Well, you crack? know, sometimes they put these on a cracker with tomato. Oh, really? And uh, for like an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> what am I, a restaurant here? <laughs> you got a, you got a cooking show here. That's right. Right, see here. Here's a nice one. Oh, man. What do you think? Pull it off. Okay. How there was it? Go. Good? Yum. I'm try some myself. Isn't that okay. yummy? Mmm. Okay, so two thumbs up for Chol of Yisrael cheese, mozzarella cheese. This will be their dinner. And what's the, uh, uh, what's the brand? What brand is that? Is that also Anderson? You know, it's interesting. It is Anderson again. Uh, the ones that you just said that was. So they do have regular uh, yeah. uh, kosher and the super kosher Chol of Yisrael. Um, you know, they make it at different plants, and sometimes it's not so easy to get this milk. Like I say, the cows don't take a rest. They don't sleep at night. And therefore, if you're going to supervise cows, you have to have someone there almost like 22 hours a day, and that means throughout the night. Obviously, it's not so easy because, number mm -hmm. one, that these farms aren't in the middle of Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and therefore, um, you got to have someone in the boondocks. Again, so you can understand the hardship they have set up these farms, so therefore regular milk is easier to get, to say the least, and therefore uh, the Chav Yisrael special cheeses are a little bit um, less easy to get a hold of. Okay, well we should also show these types of, um, finish up this type of cheese here, these cheeses, uh, the blue marble, the tomato olive, uh, these are cheese sticks, so if you don't want the... Um, uh, you know, a slice of cheese, you can actually, you know, get them, um, any excuse to take some cheese, some <laughs> but you can uh, have them in a stick form. I guess, that's, I guess that's good for snacking a... Snacking cheese. Snacking, but for kids to go to school and, you know, pack no, them in the lunch. Snacking cheese. And I want to show you that, you know, the sriracha, sriracha cheese is, is the flavor, sriracha flavor is like in everything now. It's very hot. Yeah. It's, hot category. It's not only that; it's a hot flavor too. Oh, it's yes. like, <laughs> and it's it's really <laughs> terrific. And I just, you know, it, it's everything is made, in, you know, has that sriracha flavor now, and you see it in a lot of the advertising, for sure. So, um, that's now kosher. Sriracha is kosher, and that's no. What you're that's talking good. about milk products, Mark? I just want to introduce, and these are again Chav Yisrael, but. Again, you were talking about children. You have Greek, uh, I mean, it's for kitty, yeah. Greek Yo -yo. yogurt. Mm -hmm. So we have a few of those. And we have light Greek probiotic, zero milk fat, pineapple. Again, just 
uh, again, I just uh, what I keep on reiterating how the kosher market is sensitive to the people's taste. Organic, gluten free. We're talking about people are on diets. Everybody's on a diet, so that's important also. And the Greek yogurt is very big. Chocolate pecan crunch. Look it's at that on the with top. The chocolate pecans. Right. Well, you open it up and then you put the, the chocolate, chocolate pecans from inside from the yogurt I mean, so and mix it up. Like cutting edge. That's what well. I'm saying. That's incredible. Baked apple crisp. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. How do we get a close up of that? I don't know. Let's see. Why don't you put it in front on front the ledge? It's easier. And then I'll do that, and I'll put the other one. I mean, just again, it, to me, it's amazing because I've been around so long, and really, if you wanted to keep kosher, you really didn't have um, too like, many options. And right now, like again, I keep on reiterating, but uh -huh. it's to me amazing. Yep. Any person could say, oh, I'm going to lose out because, all right, I'll keep kosher, but I can't have this, that, or the other thing, and don't even think that way because a person is able to... Now, I have to tell you, want. this company, uh, Blue Isle Mediterranean Yogurt Spread, since right. you're talking about yogurt. Caroon Dairies of California. They're in California. What dairy is it? Caroon. Caroon. Yeah. Oh, K-A-R-O-U-N. Mm -hmm. Caroon Dairy. So ju just so you think, you know, that there's a shelf, that there's an expiration date on the side of the, um, sleeve. of every the product, sleeve, the sleeve. Yeah. I just wanted to show you, this is actually from last year's uh -oh. Kosher Fest, 2015. Are you going to eat it, Mark? I am. I'm oh, brave. Yeah. This is, I'm just opening this now. I want a close-up of this. So if you could see what this looks like. Beautiful. And looks then, just good as new. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Here, okay, I'll take a spoon. That's good. Mmm. No, 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 just see. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is uh, delicious, and it's from two years ago. Or what's the ex what did we say the expiration? January 15th. January of 2016. Well, so the, the other one was 15. The other one was 15. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, these do, while the sell by date is one thing, you may still, you know, this has been refrigerated for all these years. So I think that you would still be able to. Uh, uh, use them, but it shows you what preservatives could do when you put One enough in. One more product that I want yes. to show, um, we can put that in front also. Again, uh, cream cheese that's pineapple and it's light and it's Chav Yisrael, it's the kosher. Oh, that's a cream cheese. Yeah, it's a oh. cream cheese with pineapple in it. That's great. And it has its own serving spoon with it, too. There you go. So, okay, again, okay. probably like you say, but a it person looks far. on a snack. It looks, is it foreign? Is it from another country? Let or? me check it out over here. Or Mark. can people uh, call Govina or go online and get it from Govina? I don't know. That's Marty's job. Okay. It's called Yisrael. I just be sure that people are kosher. It looks like Probably Canada. the United States. Oh, is it? Okay. Of America. Ah, I see. Okay, well. So in I any case, that's well, let's is. Let's move what, the, okay, down right. to the other end. Let, right, did you try the sesame sesame see. bites? Did you try those, the cinnamon, cereal? Cinnamon. Yeah. Take some. Take some and just, you're our taste testers to see if it's kid friendly. I don't know. You put it. What do you say? You're our people over here. Is that good? It's very yeah. good. Okay. All right, there you go. You're so going to tell your mommy to get some? Let's yeah. get some. Let's get a close-up of that and hold that up. Put let's that up. There see. you go. Beautiful. Not in oh. front of your face. We want to see your That's face it. also. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Pull it over a little bit. Very nice. Okay. Sorry, good. So that's, that's cinnamon bite. It's good with or without milk. So yeah, we don't have the milk. <laughs> so close the top so it doesn't fall over and uh, spill all over the place because you want you that. You should come to my house and take care of them over here. Bro. Okay. Well, thank you for that <laughs> offer. I'll take that under con advice. Okay. But now we right, also have thing, apple sauce, apple juice okay. there. Right. We have okay. apple juice. Right. Lift that up. And, uh, Single serve apple juice. Yep. That's good for... Snacks. Lunches, snacks. Snacks. Grab and yeah. go. That's right. Can we get a close up of that somewhere? There you go. Show his face a little bit. Too. Apple yeah. cider. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful There you go. Picture. That's a good shot. Okay. So, do you want to try some? You got some? Yeah? yeah, yeah okay. Enough shake for it. Everybody. Shake, shake it, it up, first. Shake yeah. It Wait a minute, what did I do? I forgot another Greek yogurt. Hold on. 
This is vanilla. Well, it's the same thing, but again, another product. Of Did you want to try mm -hmm. this? Okay. Okay. So, l'chaim, l'chaim. That's good. You know what? This divash, that the apple cider, yeah. again, just expanding market. They started with milk, went to cheese, then orange juice, and now they're giving all kinds of fruit juices. So they're just looking to expand their that, market. That's terrific. And then now we got this herring from Dagim, and it's up front there. Yeah, I'll show it. It's from there. Israel. <coughs> And where we got? Oh, there we go. Show his face there. Put okay, it, it that's down. good. That's good. <laughs> so you got smoked herring fillets in a small box, so you don't have to. If you like herring fillets, you don't. You know, you could take it to work with you. You don't need to have a. Um, it's not refrigerated. Oh, you know, you don't have that family size, you know. It's or shelf stable. It's sh oh, it's sh shelf stable. Okay. Now explain to the some of the people in the audience who might not know what shelf stable. Doesn't require refrigeration. It does not. Right. And it's unless until you open oh, it. Yeah, until you open it. Okay, yes. but why? How do they come up with the expression "shelf stable"? It's industry expression. Okay, but why? But it doesn't stabilize the shelf. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just a term used in the trade. Be okay. Yeah. So, um, so what else do we have down there? You want to? I'm going to show some other things. You got cookies. You got oh, cookies. That's his favorite over here. So. From Pascas, right? Pascas. 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 Yeah. Black and white cookies. That's the favorite on the table for Menachem. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to fight someone for that. Okay. <laughs> it's a very um, famous New York City product is black and white next? cookies. Keep on showing. Pick mm -hmm. up. Now, this was, from a, th this was given away by a company that does uh, the... Uh, what is it? Automation solution. Yeah, they they, they had uh, they, they sell the gear that the uh, products go on. Right. And in the processing, so they came up with a takeaway gimmick. All and right. uh, that's, that's all. That's part of automation. What they're doing in our food. <laughs> Keep going. What else so do we have there? Up, no, no, not that. But up front there, yeah. The no nos. Oh, uh, you've heard enough of no nos. I'm sure. Does, does he know yeah. anything, Menachem? You know anything about cookies, candy? No way. He could, he could be the... No way. No way. We don't want the dairy, so... <laughs> so that's good. What else do we have here in front of you? It's surprising it's not eaten by him. Well, that's th those are cooked, cooked beets. beets. Those are also from another year. Oh, I'm sure he loves them over here. Yeah. Right, Menachem? Cooked beets. Well, they're so shelf-stable <laughs> that they are stable for the past two years yeah. so i'm sure that they may have to wait 10 years before he likes them over here well you know i i have some home at home that's six years old and they're just a little hard but they're not but they're edible you okay. know if you dip it into uh well, you should make a some commercial coffee. on that over here. <laughs> you know? our food so. is great keep going what else do you have there how about that herring oh you showed the herring we what's with that fish in front we have a yellow fish oh that's a uh that, that, that's the a stress. The the, the, stress the, that's a stress thing. Yeah. You squeeze it when you have stress, but Dagim uh, is the fish, uh, the fish manufacturer, people. so they, uh, they, they, the they had a little uh, gimmick there. Okay, so now we have uh, some, now we got this mozzola. Going to Passover now? Oh, yes. All year so, round, Passover designated. But this is all year round. Yeah, yeah. This but, day, all this but this is a good, round. this is a delicious cereal. And if you don't, and if you don't mind uh, large carb uh, food, this is uh, very healthy, except for it has tremendous amount it says of carbs. It's gluten free on the right. Yeah, but that well, still are, has carbs. Two are really? one is gluten free and two are not. And this they have is three different kinds. So you got the the whole wheat maple nut and the cranberry orange, and yeah, this is the gluten free one. This is not, but still, I mean, just because gluten free, it can still be high in carbs. Healthy. Doesn't mean it's high in carbs. And so now, so now, one of the things that happens at Kosher Fest is that they, uh, the, the buyers, believe it or not, in November, come to the show to order their Passover foods. Even though it's four or five months ahead of time. Uh, yeah, six months. Yeah, whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. So they have. Because uh, you got to manufacture. It takes time. You got to order it. Otherwise, they're not going to manufacture enough. And so they place these huge orders. And, you know, these, the serious business there, and they don't want to be bothered by people like me, you know, I'm saying I'm going to do a TV show and, you know, can you give me some well, product? Serious business they here really, over here, but Mark. they want serious, I mean, they, yeah, they're they signing orders. orders, they're signing contracts. So, you know, I approach them ahead of time via email and then afterwards via email. But then during the show, I just go and shake their hands and put a face with the name. And 
you know, that's about the 15 seconds that I don't even get 30 seconds, I get 15. So. Well, basically, the uh, Passover programs over the supermarket so, chains are, are done uh, by the end of November. Yeah, right, right. So, or you, so you'll know what Price Chopper's having for Passover yeah. now, if you really are concerned. Uh, but anyway, this is a good segue from the matzola going into matzahs. Well, and actually, again, I, I probably said it about five times already. But I, to me, it's the... No, I think it's an important point. And that is, again, look at the matzahs. It's organic. You know, that, again, people... I know people always say, you know, I keep organic, gluten-free. How can I keep kosher? Hey, you can even eat matzahs that are organic. And everything is very, very... Uh, not only holy, but it's healthy. And what is spelt? Marty, can you... It's a Mark grain. It's another it. grain. Yeah, but what, grain. What, what type of a... Is it a wheat? Is it a... Uh, technically, I don't know, but it's, it's another grain. Okay, but you this... It's a healthier grain? Yeah. Maybe? But this particular uh, product is from Israel. This is a product yeah. of Israel. Well, they grow a lot of wheat there. And now we have also... Well, now looks, well let's stay with the matzah oh, you and go in the matzah. box. Yeah, let's Again, go. it's just almost what we said with the... Yeah, but it's two types of matzahs. Yeah, that's why I say is, with the... Is that the handmade? Yeah. Handmade. Okay. Because even though these are square, if you saw the box here, which is people know themselves, they're square matzahs. These matzahs that Mark is opening up are going to be specially, one, round, specially wrapped. Special, well, that's for sure. Round number one, because they're handmade, they're rolled out. And number two, again, a little bit what I was saying about the milk, these, uh, the wheat is what from the time it is... Yeah. Grown and this is yeah. very let's, delicate. Let's matzo. show this close up of this Thin, beautiful matzo. This is absolutely delicious matzo. <laughs> camera, okay. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, okay, push the it camera. Over there. there you go. <laughs> right. And this is uh, really one of the best tasting matzos. Uh, I, I won't go back to machine made really? uh, matzos anymore. No, That's this really is it. And this is also. Um, you know, it's easy to digest, it's easy to eat, it's, um, so when you got to eat so many matzahs during the Seder, uh, well, you got this, eight of eating this is the way to go. Asshole. So who's the, uh, the manufacturer of this? Uh, Again, it's it probably is. from Brooklyn. No. <laughs> With all the Hebrew. I don't have my glasses okay. on. Okay. Israel. Product of Israel. Okay. Right. So well, you, can, you know, it's interesting. You can get can Israel. You, can you t say what the... Uh, I'll teach you a Hebrew lesson here. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Havura, Daddy's saying that this is the city in Israel. I don't know if people can see it. Matzahs of the, you know, the... the but it doesn't say want, what brand or who the manufacturer is in the name just, of the manufacturer? It's you know... Um, in case people want... The point want. Is, is just that when you're buying this, you want to know who the rabbi is personally. Okay. You're not going to get a name brand for these. Okay. Because you want to have, like he says, a great rabbi being sure that everything's super duper duper kosher. Are there are a lot of handmade matzahs made in Brooklyn. Yes, there Oh, there are. I go and down to Borough Park and... Okay. And they have all sorts of assortments. I mean, you can't... But you this, know, we have a few more minutes. This doesn't, have just, UPC, <coughs> this doesn't have the UPC code on it, so it's really... It's really yeah. like a uh, small, small company. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. In any case, you want to hold this up. Yep. That again, that again, you don't have to just have matzahs and gefilte fish on Passover. Here it is. Here's a Passover a almond sponge cake. And you see right on top it says kosher for Passover, gluten free because it doesn't have any wheat in it. And um, again, it's kosher, all these kind of kosher symbols. And uh, one more. Okay, and yeah, then we have a seven-layer cake. Seven-layer cake. Now, is there, does that have anything to do with seven days of Passover? Is eight days of Passover? Eight, eight days? Eight days? Yeah. Eight. Can we have an eight-layer cake? Yeah. Okay. There you go, seven-layer cake, which is, again, as you see right on top, it says kosher for Passover, and um, looks delicious, and we'll wait till Passover to eat it. And Because um, it has again, a, it's shelf-stable. Shelf-stable, yes, Marty tells us. <laughs> and that the main thing is, it's just that you can eat kosher, number one, but eat good food, which yes. I think Mark has been uh, showing us from Kosher Fest, some good, tasty, healthy right. food. People are into health nowadays. So I want to uh, say thank you to 
to Mark for bringing all the, going to Kosher Fest, bring the food. Marty is our kosher uh, food expert in the Capital District, and our two to food tasters, Menachem Simon and J.J. Hack, for helping us uh, being sure that everything is tasty. Thank you.